Hello and welcome to another Murders at Karlov Manor draft. We are now in the top five. We are now in the top five. That feels great. Maybe we can crack four. Maybe we can crack three. We'll see how this goes. We've been on a pretty good run recently. And um, I'm really, really hoping to climb here. Maybe we can hit the top three, but I think we need to make a good run. If we make a bad run, then we might slide pretty quickly. So we'll see where this goes. Before this draft starts, I do want to say, if you wanted to support the channel, I did launch my Patreon channel. Shout out to all the current patrons. The link is in the description below. And I also did just release my uh, Patreon only uh, video for the channel. So if you are a patron, you will have access to that video. So if you don't join the Discord, I did put the notification there, but if not, uh, go check it out if you are a patron. All right, anyways, heading into this pack, what do we want? Well, we have Sumala Sentry, Market Watch Phantom, and Frantic Scapegoat as kind of the cards that stand out. I think I like the Market Watch Phantom a little more than the Frantic Scapegoat. This is only really good if you're super duper aggro. The Sumala Sentry is a really nice build around, but it is a gold card to take first pick. And for that, result, for that reason, I'm going to actually take Market Watch Phantom over the Sentry just because there's a higher chance that this card makes my deck. I don't really like first picking gold cards, and that, that also remains true for something like the, the Sumala Sentry. Now, if I get it passed and I'm firmly in green-white, absolutely I would take it over the Market Watch Phantom, but pick one, pack one. I want to take the card that gives me a little more flexibility. And now we have the choice between two white cards. There's a Granite Witness too, but it's really between Perimeter Enforcer and Inside Source. And two drops are more hotly contested. So I believe I'm just going to take the Perimeter or, uh, Enforcer over the Inside Source. I do think both cards are very good though. The thing is, the Enforcer is just good in any white deck, but if I'm specifically in blue-white detectives, it really, really shines as it will often be a... Um, it'll often be... Just a 2-2 Flying Lifelinker, which is really, really tough to race in a format that's uh, as tempo-oriented as this one. Moving on to this pack, the best card in the pack is Gleaming Gear Drake. Uh, however, Gleaming Gear Drake is too far away from our first two picks. So I want to take a card that lines up better with what we have so far, and that's Person of Interest. You know, you've heard me gush about Person of Interest. You know how much I love this card. And it is really perfect with the um, Perimeter Enforcer that we already have. And uh, Red-White is a much stronger color combination than, for example, Black-White, because Long Goodbye is also a good card to take out of this pack. Not really consider considering Ixidor. This card's kind of cool. But, I mean, it's still just a 5-mana 3-4, so I just don't think that that is quite good enough to pick out of this pack over something like a Person of Interest. Best card, though, is that Gleaming Gear Drake. <laughs> no! Ah, uh, okay. Well, the best card in the last pack was Gleaming Gear Drake, and now we're looking at a pack with no great blue or white cards. I'm okay passing Hotshot Investigators and the Griffnaught Tracker. I'm going to take the Satchel here because it's so much better than anything else. We did see that Gear Drake Blue-Red could be open. Could be open. So this is a speculative pick on the Satchel because um, with the Person of Interest, we could still maybe end up into a Blue-Red deck because uh, we first picked the Market Watch Phantom, second picked the Enfor an Enforcer. But if White dries up, it's something that we can avoid. So let's go ahead and take the Detective Satchel and see where things uh, end up here. Moving on to this pack, again, not a single white card out of this pack. So that is definitely something that's concerning. But there are some blue and red cards. You have Unauthorized Exit, Deduce, and Red Herring. I'm going to take the Red Herring here because this could go in both a red-white or a blue-red deck. And so I'm interested in taking this. Even if I'm drafting blue-red, you don't always have to be controlling. You can still be pretty uh, a pretty tempo-oriented blue-red deck. Um, especially when we have a person of interest already. But we are seeing a bunch of blue cards here. So I think blue-red might be the seat that we need to be for this draft. Moving on to this pack, we have Case of the Filch Falcon, Out Cold, Red Herring, and Offender at Large. So again, all blue-red cards. How deep into artifacts do we want to go? I really like Case of the Filch Falcon in blue-red, but I don't know if it's worth taking this early. I do have a satchel already. Eh, you know, th th this is where I'm going to take a little bit of the fun card. I will say that Red Herring or Out Cold is probably the pick here. I do love me uh, love Out Cold, but this is an uncommon. It's harder to pick up, and it's a little more fun to play with. So uh, that's going to be... Ooh, and then now we got the Out Cold. So I'm happy about the case of the Filch Falcon, and now we're going to prioritize trying to pick up more artifacts to make this really work, but going to take an Out Cold here. Um, I just really love having one or two copies of this in 
most blue decks. Most blue decks, other than the most controlling of blue decks, but uh, th those decks really don't really exist. Now that's a late meddling youths. That is a late meddling youth, but I'm still going to take Person of Interest. I mean, I think Person of Interest is still just better, even if I wanted to be red-white. But again, after these two packs, we haven't seen a single white card. That's a, that's a This is a red and white card, but we haven't seen uh, uh, that many white cards. So I'm just going to take Person of Interest. Red feels like it might be open, but I don't know that uh, white is. So we're blue-red. I'm going to take Eliminate the Impossible. I'm not the biggest fan of this trick, but it does create an, an artifact, which does go well with Case of, the, Case of the Filch Falcon and also the Detective Satchel. So looks like we're going to be moving into a blue-red deck here. I'll take a Hotshot Investigators. It's not the worst card to play at the top end of the curve, and I'm going to uh, dodge the white cards here. So feeling a little bit sad about the fact that we did pass the best um, uh, blue-red uh, artifact creature in the Gleaming Gear Drake. We took Person of Interest, which is still going to be a good card in this deck. But of course, Gear Drake is premium in this type of deck. But I just, I just felt like, given our first two picks, the Person of Interest made a little more sense there. All right. Well, ideally, I don't have to play any of those cards. And I, Sudden Setback is also the type of card that I don't really like. Um, at in a slower format, it's okay, but in a set that's tempo oriented like this one, four mana is a lot for a bounce effect. Even though it's a pretty decent one, the double blue also makes it kind of rough. When we already have two person of interest, a satchel, and an out cold, so that's already four four mana cards for the deck. Moving into this pack, I'm going to take a pretty easy fuss bother over deduce. I do like deduce in these types of decks. It does work well with Case of the Filch Falcon. If we want to go along with the Satchel, it's good. But if we have aggressive starts, Fuss can be very, very strong. And Bother by itself will turn on Case of the Filch Falcon. So let's take Fuss Bother here and move on. Here we have, I think it's going to be Deduce. Uh, Blue Red is not really the type of deck that wants a card like Frantic Scapegoat. Agency Outfitter, I believe, is just far too slow. Uh, Suspicious Detonation is a pretty mediocre removal spell, but I am happy to have Deduce. Uh, I just think it's a pretty good card. As long as you have enough ways to interact with your opponents early on, I think it's a pretty good card to have. So with Deduce, another card that goes well with Deduce is a card like Reasonable Doubt, because when you keep up two mana, you can do either, right? If your opponent tries to play around your Reasonable Doubt, you can still cast your Deduce. All right, really, really need some cheap playable creatures. And that's a Greenbelt Radical, but we can't take it. Uh, so for us, it's between Bubble Smuggler, Sanitation Automaton, and Gravestone Strider. We do have a Case of the Shattered pack if we wanted to splash. So if we wanted to give ourselves a little more flexibility, I could take the Gravestone Strider with the Case of the Shattered pack, and that would allow us to splash a little more. Or I can take the Sanitation Automaton. I think I'm going to take the Sanitation Automaton. A lot of the cards that we have especially double person of interest with and red herring, makes us want to attack. And so I think I favor the two mana, two one creature that allows me to rumble a little better than the Gravestone Strider. I think it's still early enough where we can still pick up, we can still pick up mana fixing if we do find a bomb that we want to splash. Here we have the pick between Surveillance Monitor and Reasonable Doubt. And uh, I like the Surveillance Monitor a fair bit. It does make a Thopter. Blue-Red doesn't have the most ways to collect evidence, but I mean, even if you just play this by itself to make a 1-1 one -one Thopter, that's still pretty good. It's kind of like a gadget technician. But of course, if you do pick up some Crime Stopper sprites, maybe you can make additional Thopters on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and take the monitor here. But noting that we are getting very, very heavy on fours, that could have been a reason to take the reasonable doubt. But reasonable doubts, I find you can get kind of late. And now, Detective Satchel, very, very happy about this. But we are overloaded on fours. No more expensive cards for us. I have two satchels. And you know what gets better when you have two satchels? Sacrifice effects. Now that I have two Detective Satchels, I'm actively looking for a single copy of... Uh, the Criminologist, or even something like a Cornered Crook to, um, to be able to sacrifice all the clues that I'm going to make. Now that's a six-pick case of the Filch Falcon, and we are looking like we're setting up for a pretty sweet blue-red artifact deck. We are looking pretty well set up here. Obviously still uh, sad that we don't have the Gleaming Gear Drake, but I think at the time it was still the correct pick. Now we have the choice between Jaded Analyst and Unauthorized Exit. I'm going to take Unauthorized Exit. 
I'm not the biggest fan of Jaded Analyst. Now, we do need some two mana cards, I will admit, but I do think Unauthorized Exit is also just a very, very good card. You can even reset Detective Satchel sometimes if you need, and I feel like I always want to have at least one copy of Unauthorized Exit in my decks. Now I'm going to take the Reasonable Doubt here. Definitely going to play it here because we are light on two mana cards. Here's a Deduce, and uh, yeah, kind of liking where this is, uh, where this is going. I uh, want to still uh, focus on taking cheap cards here. And I'm going to take Gravestone Strider. I'm going to take Gravestone Strider over the Bubble Smuggler just because I have two copies of Case of the Filch Falcon. And it does give us more outs to um, fix. And uh, having more artifacts in this type of deck does seem like something that we want. Don't really like Dramatic Accusation. Hoping I don't need to play that. I mean, I, I do like the Bubble Smuggler just fine. I like the Bubble Smuggler just fine, but I, I think I want... When it's close, picking up, picking up an extra artifact does seem pretty reasonable. Mass Hysteria. Why, why on earth did they print this one? I want to know. Very disappointing pack. Would have liked to see like a Shock or a Galvanize. We don't have any removal, but that's not an option here. I already have a Reasonable Doubt and two Deduces. I'm just going to take another two mana card to fill out the rest of our mana curve, because we only have three two-mana creatures, and this is an artifact creature. And that is another two-drop. That's a fantastic two-drop. We're going to slam Pyrotechnic Performer out of this pack. Some uh, great white uncommon here in case of the Gateway Express, but eh, not really interested in splashing this, to be honest. I mean, it's fine, but this is just a great two-mana card, right? If I have an aggro start, just playing this even face up, turn two, turn two Pyrotechnic Performer, beat down, is completely fine with something like an out cold. I do like cold case cracker in general, but like I said before, we are overloaded at four. We have surveillance monitor, double person of interest, double satchel, and an out cold. So very, very happy with pyrotechnic performer. Moving on to this pack, there's a forensic gadget here, and a lot of people are probably gonna ask me to take this card. I just don't think this card is very good. I don't. Now, this is a better card for this deck because we do have actually five artifacts to make it cheaper and it it makes uh, sacking clues cheaper and we don't have any threes so it is something to consider here but there's also a fuss bother i gotta take the fuss bother here i think fuss bother is just too good of a card oh and that's an ill-timed explosion great great that is incredible i mean i love me a furtive courier as well but that is an ill-timed explosion. I mean, you've seen me lose my fair share of games against this card. This card is absolutely incredible. I am going to take it, and I'm going to be super happy to pick up one of the best rares in the set. Okay, that might be a stretch, but this is one of the better cards. I absolutely love this card. And now there's a Coerce to Kill. We have a Gravestone Strider and a Case of the Shattered Pact. If we play a Singular Swamp, we can take this card. And I don't necessarily want a second copy of Unauthorized Exit, so I think I'm going to take this. It's got the most upside out of the cards that we have so far. So it looks like we're heading towards maybe potentially a more controlling shell. We'll see, but look, I mean, if the draft ended, if the draft ended, I would be completely fine with this deck. This is a very, very solid deck. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A little bit light on creatures, I guess. We'll see. All right, that's a creature. Definitely playing that. We can certainly cut like a deduce or an eliminate the impossible if we want. It might be eliminate the impossible. I like drawing cards. Here we have, well, we already have a sudden setback in our sideboard, and I don't know that I'm going to play two copies of Eliminate the Impossible, but I guess I'm never playing Kylox. So I guess I'll just take Eliminate the Impossible. Oh my gosh, that's an 8th pick Satchel? All right. <laughs> Do we just cut these? I, I might play all the reasonable doubts too. I feel like at this point, I just want to get to the late game. I really wish I had a way to sacrifice, though, right? I really, really wish I had a way to sacrifice uh, my Thopters. But, I mean, oh my. Okay, Th th we might be shifting gears entirely here. This, ooh, Bubble Smuggler. Wow, we have, I've never had this many playables. It has been a while. This is going to be a pretty fun one to build. This is going to be a pretty fun one to build because I can build it kind of tempo-y. But I can also build it kind of controlling. There's, there's two different things I can do here. We are playables flooded. 
All right, can certainly cut that. I don't really like eliminate that much. And we are look uh, dramatic. We can probably cut. We are looking at. We need to still cut five cards. Holy cow! I think I can cut Mistway Spy. I don't mind the Crime Stopper Sprite here. I think Red Herring also might not be ideal because we're playing ill-timed. I don't think Red Herring and Detective Satch three Detective Satchel plus ill-timed explosion necessarily belong in the same deck. Fuss Bother is looking a little bit worse because now it's looking more like it's a six mana play. Although we still have some number of creatures here, but we don't have a ton. Yeah, this is a really interesting build. I This is now looking like a deck where Fuss Bother might not be as good because it's not... I'm not really getting a lot of value out of the plus one, plus one counters on each attacking creature, right? And if I can't do that, then is this a type of card that I want, right? We're talking about six mana... If it's six mana, make three 1-1 one, one flyers with Surveil 2, is that really something that you want to play, right? Is that... Because I don't need this to turn on the case of the Filch Falcon anymore with triple Detective Satchel. Like I said, this is the type of deck that really just wants to trade as many resources as you can early, use my automatons and my creatures, uh, try to counter whatever I can, maybe get a little tempo back, then just take over the game with all my Satchels. And anything that makes um, clues, I think I want like the deduce, because that just means I just get to make more Thopters. So, as weird as it is, I mean, do we also cut Person of Interest? Because that's not really a good blocker either. Play like one Swamp and do something like, oh, that's definitely like nine, nine, seven, one. This is so weird, because this goes against like all the other ways that you're supposed to kind of play this format, which is kind of aggression, right? And if I wanted to build an aggressive deck, I can go Red Herring, Double Person of Interest, uh, Double Fuss Bother, um, Mistway Spy, and try to beat people down. Or I can just try to be more controlling and just try to survive. And I think if I want to do that, Dramatic Accusation makes sense because I want to be able to kill big things, right? And now I have Dramatic Accusation, Coerced to Kill, and Ill-Timed Explosion and maybe a couple of counter spells to potentially try to kill big things. I don't have a ton of creatures where Eliminate Them Possible would be great. Um, so this might be the actual build here. I still like the one copy of Unauthorized Exit. I know this one is a little bit worse in control decks, but like I said, I can use it to reset satchels if I need, and sometimes you can just blow people out by having a good instant speed trick. I feel like I have enough in the late game with triple deduce, triple satchel, where I don't need something like a Hotshot Investigators to win the game with. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. This, like, I think my second video ever had a deck similar to this. But uh, we'll see how this goes. The one thing is I might want to play a second Swamp over a Mountain to make sure I can cast that Coerced. But we'll see. I'm kind of excited about this deck, only because it looks very different from my typical aggressive decks that I've built that are tempo-oriented, but I feel like we have some of the cards that allow us to go late. Um, I feel like we have some... The triple Satchel, like, it's really hard for many decks to go over the top of Triple Satchel. And we drew the combo. Although I think I'm just going to play a face-up performer here. Great two-drop. Uh, don't think I'm going to go Crime Stopper Sprite, though. I might go, like, Case of the Filch Falcon. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll do that. What is this? Oh, okay. Sure. So let's play, uh, Case of the Filched Falcon and Gravestone Strider. The reason being is this just puts an extra creature in play. Next turn, I can just cast Deduce, and then I can flip Case of the Filch Falcon. Etrada? Oh, no. Oh, God. I mean, I could have countered it, I guess, but I mean, I'm not going to play around Mythic Rare turn three. This card is a problem. Okay, oh, that's a bounce spell. Yeah, I'm interested in that. 
I mean, they could replay it, but it's it's fine. Let's just bounce it now. And, oh yeah, I'll keep that. And now we get to flip the case. If they replay the Entrada, we can just play the Dramatic Accusation. Okay, they're still going to replay the Entrada. Our mana situation is a little bit weird. Kind of want land number five. Magnif Get out of here. Get your magnifying glass. Granted, I'm not really putting on any pressure. <laughs> not putting on any pressure myself. What if Rubble Belt Maverick was secretly an assassin I and I just had no idea? Wow, treacherous... What did they... They are going really deep. But I feel like that type of deck specifically is good against us. I do feel that. Why would you tap like that, auto-tap? Oh, because I have Dramatic Accusation, I guess. All right, we'll keep the Sacrifice on the Clue available. Okay, Snarling Gore. Okay, are they doing some like chalk outline shenanigans? What's going on here? I have enough stuff to collect evidence, so I don't really need to shuffle this in. Although they are playing green, so they can have Vengeful Creeper. I do have this 4-4. Yeah, we're going to counter that. Um, what do I want to make? What do I want to suspect? I guess the Snarling Gorehound. Or I could... Actually, I can... Mm, I can suspect the clue. Yeah, just, that way if they have a Rift Burst Hellion, they can't block it. Yeah, that seems fine. Now what do I do? Hmm. They have three cards in hand. It's kind of awkward because... Turn this creature face. It can't... Oh, okay. They, they still... Entrada still has an ability. So they can turn this up for four mana. Yeah, I think I, I want to just collect evidence and tap down the face down card. So let's do that. Two, four, six. This does leave my clue of, uh, vulnerable, but... It lets us get in for maximum damage. And we get to put another flyer in play. They've been the scene of the crime. They have lots of fancy lands. Just going to say, this deck looks very, very weak to Boros. <laughs> okay, Jetsam. They missed. That was not a strong Jetsam at all. Oh, can you imagine if they hit the Sweeper? Oh, wow. That would have been sick. Yeah, they only have one artifact here, so that was kind of a waste of a turn. You know, it actually feels good that they did that. I mean, that just means their hand is extremely weak, right? Oh, that's a satchel. That is a satchel. Let us go ahead and jam the satchel. I did not sack. Oh wait, no, I I'm so dumb. Oh my gosh. No. Oh no, if I lose because of that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like, what am I doing? I cracked a clue. I just... Paul, 
Paul, Paul, Paul. That is horrifically bad. Oh my goodness, that's that's so disappointing. Oh my god, that's so so bad. I needed to make a thopter right away. I'm going to crack this because I can draw something expensive. I know I can play the automaton, but that was just so embarrassingly bad. I'm going to do this just so I don't forget. Goodness. Uh, I'm going to attack with both my flyers because they have to block my 4-4 unless they have a removal spell. Looks like they do. That's a complete blowout. Oh, they just gained some life. Okay. Yep, they should be at one life here. Oh my gosh. Hmm, I'm at 15. I know I can make a 4-4 four four at end of turn, but I, I think I just want to... I can do that next turn, and this helps me figure out what I want to draw. Surveillance monitor is also interesting. I'll keep that. I just feel like the way that I win here is by uh, swarming them with flyers. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, going for rank one and missing a one a free one one flyer. That's that's awful. That is awful. Man, I would have been able to collect evidence if they didn't cast the cease desist or whatever. This is a good sign. This is a great, great sign. Nope. They are really cooking here. Okay. All right. All right. You know, the first game, first game's always a little bit loose. We won, but we're still rank five. First game is always a little bit loose. I, I think I have enough card draw where I'll just kind of eventually find my black sources and I think it's more important that I have my colors early but let's just double check real quick real quick just to see how many red cards I actually have um oh wow it's like none okay yeah let's I think we should play one more swamp then we have six we have five red cards yeah we have five red cards and the performer we can play face down so it's like yeah I mean two easy two swamps Still like the six just in case, but because you don't, we don't need that many blue sources. So nine, nine, six, two plus the case seems reasonable. All right. Well, this is not, I mean, this is an okay hand. We, if they don't kill our automatons, we can flip this case on turn three. What do I want here? Like, if it's a land, do I keep? Probably. Was that greedy? <laughs> uh. Now, they might have a removal spell here, for sure. To prevent the flip. But it's okay, we have the deuce. We'll, we'll bin that one. <laughs> we want lands. Well, it's been solved. Case has been solved. So... We can attack for a lot. They didn't have a two. They might play a face down card here, but we can um, make a four four and just jam. Yep. I drew the land.
Now, if they have a... Rem- oh, my gosh. Okay, so that tells me they have a bite down on crime, I think. That, that would be the thing that makes the most sense for them to not trade here. They want to kill my 4-4 flyer with bite down on crime. No. No, they don't. Okay, that's really interesting. All right, well, here you go. Here you go. You're at two. Tap down your two things, and you're dead. Case of the Filch Falcon. Pretty good. Rank four. Rank four. Okay, that is a new high. That is a new high. Hold on, I gotta change my deck box real quick. We got, let's let's put, I mean, we got, no, let's put the all-timed explosion. Hell yeah. Yeah, that looks better. Person of interest, not even in my deck. I love that card too. I do. But like I said, we are four drop flooded, right? We have too many fours, so I'm just going for the fours that um, impact the board a little more to let me stabilize. And I feel like Surveillance Monitor will do a better job of that than Person of Interest in this deck. And like I mentioned before, this is unfortunately not quite a fuss bother deck. Okay, we're on the... Dr- I think I can keep this... It's not... Hmm. I'm on the draw. I have a reasonable doubt. Deduce would make this hand a lot better. Unauthorized Exit also buys us a little bit of time. Also, I dislike mulliganing. <laughs> we have lots of... La- we have 17 lands plus case in our deck. We're good. Oh, they're playing around Stifle. Heads up play. There's the case of the Shattered Pack. Now our hand's perfect. We can get the Black Source for Coerce to kill. Here, of course, we want to just cast Reasonable Doubt on literally anything. I mean, it's right here. It's right in the middle of the screen. Pick your poison. Well, don't cast that card. Well, I, I guess they could cast it. That wouldn't do anything. Pick it. Pick your poison. All right, here it is. Nervous Gardener for sure. It's always Nervous Gardener. Nope, it was a Vengeful Creeper. All right. Um... Yeah, let's. This is a, as good of a time as any to just go ahead and fetch a swamp. Let's go play it. What if we steal like a Naya creature, like a Naya gold creature? That would be nice. So they're actually stuck on three. Th- this is actually interesting. So I can play Surveillance Monitor or. I can bounce this face down creature and it's kind of like a tempo play plus it does give me an extra thing in my graveyard to make a thopter. So I think I'm just going to do that just because I, I literally don't have anything else to do here. I'm sure our opponent is happy with that as well. I'll keep the deduce. I think the thopter was worth it there. Okay, land number four. Just a nice big face up creature. That would also be okay. All right, so that's the Culvert Ambusher, most likely. Or it could be Nervous Gardener. Okay, they kept up a green. Doesn't matter to us as we are playing Surveillance Monitor. We've got to represent that shock. I guess this is actually really bad. If they draw land number four, <laughs> or land number five, right? I'm not sure that we had another great play. I mean, I guess I could have just cast the deuce, but if they somehow go back to back lands, it's kind of annoying um, because they can flip it up and eat my monitor. Now, if they flip it up and eat my monitor, then it, the coast, then I can like cast coerce to kill and steal it. But all right. So they went this way from the opponent. No, this is good though, because now I can attack with my creatures and not worry about any either of them getting eaten. Ooh. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, let's cast the deuce. With the swamp. Ooh, okay. Let's attack with both of our creatures. Oh yeah, this is a, this is amazing. We can make a 4-4 four, four here too. The deduce case of the Filch Falcon control deck. We are truly doing it.
Let's just hope they don't vengeful creeper us out of the tournament. But the, our deck just firing on all cylinder, cylinders. Just a well-oiled, well-oiled machine right now. Maybe they have a shock? Is that why there's this delay? They could have shock. Okay, nope, it flipped. We've solved the case. Let's see what they have. I mean, like we said, that's probably a Culvert Ambusher. But we have... We're going to be able to go end of turn, make a 4-4, four, four, and then out cold or coerce the kill. So a lot of great options for us. Now, our opponent was stuck on lands, so we do... I mean, they have six spells in their hand, so we're going to have to fight through that. We're going to have to fight through that, but we have pretty good tools in our hand. But of course, if they play like a Tulsimir or an Ezrim, then uh, things could get dicey. Things could get dicey. Helen. I bet they don't have a land. <laughs> Okay. We can steal it. They're not going to attack us. Like if they if they attack us, they would be trading get a leg up plus their face down card. So All right. Let's use our mana wisely, beat down. Oh, that's a satchel. Here's my question, like, do I want to trade Surveillance Monitor for the face down card? I can also steal Neighborhood Guardian, I don't know how good that is. Right? If I steal the, steal the Neighborhood Guardian, I can start... I can get in for a good... If I steal the Neighborhood Guardian, I can get in for a good attack this turn. And then when they play the Kellen, I can cast out cold. Yeah, let's do that. If they take this all and then they just tap out to play Kellen, then I think they're dead. If they flip over their Culvert Ambusher, I am more than happy trading my 1-1 Death Touch creature with their Neighborhood Guardian. The worst case scenario here is if they just play like a, a removal spell, I guess. Interesting, okay. So they played a couple of face down cards. So is out cold lethal? It is not. So I'm going to just go ahead and play the satchel. And I'm going to crack the clue now and I'm going to remember to make a creature. And then target my flyer. Oh, this looks like get a leg up. All right. They did have it. All right. What does your single white mana represent? Yeah, get a leg up was great. Ate my 4-4 flyer. Very, very big. I wanted to sneak in an extra point of damage. I wonder if I was supposed to just keep about cold. I mean, they had one mana up. And we're still going to attack for three this turn here. Make another Thopter. They still just have a lot they need to fight through. And I still haven't cast my out cold yet. We're continuing to hit our land drops. We're drawing a lot of cards. So still thinking we're okay for the most part. Our opponent untapped. 
I need a green permanent. <laughs> I have blue, black, white, red. Do I have like a green face down creature I can play? I have in my deck? Rift Burst Hellion or something? All right. Buried in the garden. What would you like to target? It might be the satchel. Okay, so now they are definitely coming back. And they still have access to two mana. Nervous Gardener, we don't care about. All right, uh, let's start drawing some cards here. Crime Stopper Sprite. Sadly... Oops, that's not what I want. If I cast a deduce, no, that still would have been short. Um, I mean, I can still just play it, right? There's nothing that says I can't just play it just to have a flyer that pre uh, presents lethal damage. Obviously, I want to collect evidence and try to get value. Now, if I play the Sanitation Automaton, that still puts them, takes three, and then I get an extra token, and that sets me up a little bit better. All right, let's just do that instead. I mean, they have to play the Kellen at some point, right? They're going to crack their clue and they want to play the Kellen. They're, uh, I don't know why they don't want to play the flyer that blocks everything. I think they just think we have a removal spell probably, which I do. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now they're likely dead here. Whoa, 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 auto tapper. Actually, it doesn't matter. All right. Two, four, six. Let's target this. Let's tap you. Let's target this. And we have reasonable doubt as well. Four in the air. All right. All right. They had a sweet deck. They just, I think them falling behind there on tempo is probably what cost them. Still rank four, but we are 3-0 and with our very unique blue, red, black control deck. Okay. On the play. Yeah, I like this hand. Obviously need some lands, but the combination of the deduces and the automaton should help us find the lands that we need. Were we on the draw here? Thought we were on the play. Our opponent might be mulliganing. All right. On the play, as we should be. Ha <laughs> ha. Gonna jam automaton here. Ooh. I think uh, even if there's another land on top, I'm gonna keep it. If it's not, I'm yeah, I'm definitely keeping this with the satchel here. No reason to get greedy. We have our turn three play, which is reasonable doubt slash deduce. I'm going to just pass. I want to just keep my life total high here, and I'm not interested in trading damage. Oh, super easy block here. I know they get their clue, but I don't want the Homicide Investigator in play. You know what I mean? And then we can just counter this. Face down card, and then play the Satchel. Or face-up card, whatever. All right. Hopefully our opponent cannot grind through our satchel. Mm. 
Rune Brand Juggler, that's a good one. Hmm. I mean, I can just I can just do this, right? Like I don't need to make Thopters just yet. Oh my gosh. Like I can just freeze this. Yeah, let's do that. Next turn, we have two draws at finding land number six. The reason why land number six is amazing is um, we can play the other satchel and make two Thopters a turn, and I just don't see them coming back from that. So hopefully we can find a land in the next two draw steps. If not, then it's going to be relevant spells, so it'll be fine. But I really want to be able to just find whatever, island or mountain or swamp, any of those cards. Face down card from the opponent. Reasonable doubt. All right. Um, let's crack this clue. Land? Come on. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and attack. I know I have reasonable doubt up, but I think I would much rather just spend my mana wisely this turn. I think this could still be useful later. And let's just make two Thopters. Two Thopters a turn, not bad. While drawing cards. I am wondering though, am I playing a control game here or an aggressive game? You know what I mean? I feel like I should play the control game with Detective Satchel. I'm just up so many cards. <laughs> wow. Um, that's a basher though. That is kind of annoying. I, I don't think I play the third satchel. I think I might want to out cold here. Let's see what we draw. Lands are always welcome. Yep. Probably just tap down these two. But we'll see what they do. Bustle. How, I, I mean, I don't know what this face down card is. I guess I just let this resolve, right? And then I just tap these two and I take four. All right, flip it up. What is it? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Offender at large, maybe? Wait, they didn't flip it up? All right. I mean, this can't block, so... Okay, let's uh, crack a clue. Goodness. I don't think I need to play the other satchel. I think I'd rather just play automaton and keep up reasonable doubt or unauthorized exit. I actually don't know if I should keep that. I might need to, I might want to mill that just in case, but I feel like, I mean, the thing is worst case scenario, I can still use this as a card draw mechanism. I can just say, uh, pay four to draw cards, but I don't think that they're going to be able to beat this board that we have. Like this creature can't block. We just counter whatever they play and this should be another victory. Boom. All right. Wow, what a smooth... That was, once again, a very, very smooth draw. 
Still rank four. Gonna take a lot of wins here, it looks like, to crack the top four. But we have a nice, nice streak going. 4-0 and oh, going into round number five. Okay. Um, I'm on the play. I'm going to keep this um, because I have the case. I can... I can... Th this basically lets me cycle to get me closer to the satchels. Okay, don't care too much about the Hedge Whisperer. Really need to draw this land, though. Don't care about that, so I'm going to crack my clue to try to draw land. If I don't draw land, I mean, that's going to be super unfortunate. Come on, deck. Come on, deck! We're trying to hit rank one here. You know what I mean? We're trying to hit rank one. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, I should have targeted the Hedge Whisper. Oh my gosh. Dude. Dude. Dude, bro. Dude, bro. This is... This is... Come on. All right. Well, we staved off what we could. I mean, we have this ill-timed explosion, but I mean... Okay. This is getting downright ridiculous. I mean, this... Like, I... I know it was my only play, but like, oh my gosh, we kept a two lander. So it's in, we've seen 13 cards, seven. So in six draw steps, we failed to find a land. And okay. Now we have an automaton. This is so dumb. It's an island. I guess we'll keep it. I mean, I guess their hand isn't anything spectacular, but... Oh, they're going to hit us now for a million? I mean, this will happen. This will happen. It's very unfortunate, though. I think I got to target the island here. I mean, they don't have another way to collect evidence. If they untap it, it falls off. <laughs> I think. But, hey, I, I got a 5-5 five five off the battlefield, right? Surveillance monitor, 3-3. Three three. Mountain? Oh my gosh. Well, that makes things very interesting. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to just Wrath here. I think so. All right. Um, we need to discard two cards. It's probably the Performer. And... Maybe it's a satchel? I guess I don't technically need this island. So it needs to be a four. This puts something in play right away, so I think I want to keep that. But I want the black source for Coerce to kill, so I want Coerce to kill plus Case of the Shattered Pact. So I need to discard a four drop. So it's between. So I guess it's the satchel. Oh, you know what? It, uh, probably should have discarded... Um, Land plus, land plus, but whatever. Maybe the land is still good. I think, I, I mean, this is still a pretty mana-hungry situation. They have lots of mana available. Could have a counterspell here. What do they have in their hand? I really, I'm very curious. I 
I'm just doing this just to add to the battlefield a little bit. It could be another out cold, I guess. Okay. We don't mind that so much. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I guess we would have lost anyways, probably. Doppelgang doing doppelgang things. Yeah, all right. Good beats. Okay, we, we would have lost anyways. Do I mean, when you get to eight mana and cast doppelgang, it's basically unbeatable. All right, four and one. At least we didn't D-rank. Our opponent's going first. We drew three of our six mountains. We do have a Gravestone Strider, and I can play Bubble Smuggler face down, even if I don't find a blue source, so I think I'm going to keep. Out Cold is the draw for us. We have one of our many satchels. Let's go ahead and play Gravestone Strider. Case of the Burning Masks, okay. Let's go ahead and play our face down creature. Run out our satchel next turn. Drone Smith, huh? Okay, you, you get me for one. Not entirely sure what to do here. I think it's probably just jam the satchel. Hopefully they don't play like a haste creature. Gadget technician, okay. So they will be able to flip the case of the burning masks soon-ish. Blue source is nice because we can go case of the filch falcon and it will flip. So now it makes it a lot harder for them to attack us because I can make a 4-4. Four -four. So we'll see what they do. I can also cast out cold, but doesn't seem that great here. I feel like I'd rather just make a 4-4. Four -four. And just kind of hope that they don't have the chases on. I mean, they could have a bounce ball or whatever, but they didn't attack with the Harry Drone Smith. Yeah, that, that seems like a misstep, like 1000%. Especially with out cold in hand. All right. Um, this might be an out cold turn. Oh, that's interesting. Do I have a three? Hmm. I don't have a three, sadly. So, and I don't want to discard my fours, you know what I mean? Um, I suppose I can crack a clue, sorry, crack this and see what I find. Okay. And we can still just go ahead and use out cold, which is what I think I'm gonna do. Or, yeah, that I think that's what I'm gonna do rather. All right, we just need to withstand their uh, tempo-y shenanigans. Probably want to crack their case here, get some extra information with, with how they want to cast their spells. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and tap down the two biggest attackers. I'm surprised they're not using their case. You know what I mean? Okay, well, I, I mean, look, it's, it's time. It's time. I can deal two, well, I can deal two damage to everything. That seems pretty good, right? So, yeah, if I deal two damage to everything, they get to keep their Harry Dronesmith. 
Huh. Um, but then I get to keep my 4-4 four, four clue. That seems like a decent exchange. Uh, or, you know, I'm so far ahead on cards. Maybe I just kill the drone smith too. All right, we got in for some damage. You know, I'm actually going to crack this. Let's discard Swamp and four mana card. Kaboom. Let's make a Thopter. All right. We've reset the board. We're able to make a Thopter every turn. Which is great. They're going to have to find something good. Oh, they found a satchel. <laughs> All right. Dueling satchels. Well, we have lots of satchels as well. Let's see. I'm going to crack. I'm going to crack one now. Um, the reason being is I want to hit a land drop. Okay, we did not hit a land drop. Hmm. You know, given where things are, I know I can play some creatures, but I'd rather just cast Deduce than Reasonable Doubt or um, Double Reasonable Doubt if they play like a you know, a really good spell here. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, I don't think I am suspecting anything. Happy to do this trade if they want to attack. Block. Let's cast a deuce. Okay, all all the automatons. See what we find. Don't want that. Lay this face down. And attack for one. All right, so we have the option to flip over the performer and um, also crack a clue and make a 1-1 one -one here, which isn't bad. Granite Witness. Yeah, we're going to take three here. I'm not going to chump. Okay, let's make a 1-1. One, one. Let's flip this up. It's a removal spell, okay. That's, oh, ho, ho. why hello there. Let's go ahead and t attack with automaton. They might block with the thopter, which is fine. Let's play satchel. Let's play Case of the Filch Falcon, because now we can make a 4-4 at instant speed. And our artifact synergies are online. 
It's going to be very difficult for them to beat all of the cards here. I mean, we are down to six life, though. So that is something to consider. I'm going to just double block here. Run into whatever combat trick they might have. Sure. Face down card, I can counter this, but I don't get to make creatures if I do. I think I still do. Just like at this stage in the game, this is probably something really good. Oh yeah, that would have killed my case of the Filch Falcon. Let's crack this. Um... Let's play this. I don't need to play the case right now. Deduce. Mm, okay. Still going to play the control game here. And now I have the mana to actually make the 4-4. And if they have a combat trick, I can still crack the 4-4. And we just have cards for days. Oh, well, great draw, though. I mean, they kill a thing, they draw a card, they make a 1-1. One, one, but it's just, we have double satchel going, so it's just so hard to beat, right? Um, I'm going to crack this clue. Just because I have the deduce, I just want to continue just uh, looking for cards that I might need. Just gives me a lot more information. I'm going to cast this deduce as well in case I draw another satchel. Okay. All right. So we actually are kind of running out. We do have one more though. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have cracked that clue end of turn. I'm, I'm down to nine cards. Jaded Analyst. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was a good draw. All right, so let's crack the clue. That was also a good draw. Let's play Satchel. <laughs> Three is better than one. <laughs> Hello. Here we go. Two, four, six, sure. All right. We outvalued them. Satchel power. All of the satchels. Okay, five and one. Let us keep this going. That wrath was sweet. Okay. On the play. Yeah, yep, yeah, keeping this hand. We have the ill timed explosion. So hopefully we can set that up nicely. With we got the satchel, just need to find a, a decently sized card. I'm going to play this just because I feel like, um, you know, I feel like this is just going to be a useful creature to trade with or whatever. Snarling Gorehound, Homicide Investigator, okay. And I'm going to play a Satchel. They won't expect anything. Dang, I thought they would play more, but I think it's time to cast our sweeper. Um, yeah, let's discard these two. They get a clue. Play our land. 
but that sh pretty good at resetting the board here. Um, we can go Bubble Smuggler plus make a 1-1 next turn, which is pretty nice. Good job, Case. You're not just a land. You're, you're more than a land. All right, face down card for the opponent. Face down card for us. You know, actually, if they flip it over into something big, I think I can get a huge tempo advantage by bouncing it. And if they trade, I'm happy with that too. Yeah, okay. You drain me for three, but I get a big tempo play here. Uh, I don't think I want that. I think I can do better. Although I think just attacking for six is probably best. Just uses my mana the best, you know what I mean? I mean, they could have extracted for more. Although now we need to find something. Drawing that land was not good. Let's um, crack this clue. That's an Ali Assailant. Let's cast Deduce. Okay, let's play this. And thank you for that, that was an update. All right. I mean, they still have a bunch of cards in hand. This, 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 you know, we got some value, but you know, they extract confession, homicide investigator. They have a great Rakdos deck, so it's not going to be, like I said, it's not going to be the most trivial thing. All right. Let's get a little bit of value here. I'll take two. We need more satchels. More satchels, please. But yeah, they have six lands and all spells. So um, definitely going to need to find some more action here. Reasonable Doubt could be okay because they're only on the six lands. Ooh, that was great. All right. So let's go ahead and play Surveillance Monitor. Collect Evidence 4. Sure. All right. And I assume we attack. Because Ali Assailant costs six mana to flip up. Destroy target creature, okay. And we can double block this face down card. They could have chases on, I guess. I'm hoping they have chases on. It could be like a shock or something. Murder. Oh, this is great. Boom. Alley Assailant down. All right. They have one card left. We have a final crack here with the satchel, but we have lots of card draw. Come on. Let's find a spell. Okay. That was very bad. We're out of gas. 11, 12, 13, four, 13 mana sources. Okay. We have like almost no lands left in our deck. We drew a bad removal spell, but we'll keep it. I mean, it's still it's still a removal spell. Okay, there we go. Now we're cooking. <laughs> All right, they have a bunch of removal, but red black removal not so good against double satchel. I shouldn't keep the black open. Ho 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 ho! <gasps> All right. The third satchel. It's always the third satchel that gets the concession. Okay, still rank four. Oh my gosh. The top three. Why are you all so good? Why are you all so good? But hey, I'm still happy. We're top three. I mean, top four. I'd like to be top three. Maybe with this, we are now six and one playing for the trophy with our pretty sweet Is It Control deck. Is it control? Getting it done. 
Okay, six and one, playing for the trophy. Rank four, on the play. Mediocre hand, I basically have five lands, case of the Filch Falcon and Automaton, but I'm gonna keep it. That's two artifacts. The Automaton can also help um, us find a threat. For example, we at least we know that when we play the Automaton, if there is a land on top, we can, we can shuffle that away. That's an ill-timed explosion. Doesn't really look great here. All right, what do we have? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the satchel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Scene of the crime into escape tunnel. Okay. Because we're not gonna have a shortage of plays here, I'm just gonna cast Case of the Shattered Pact instead of cracking a clue, and just go ahead and get my black source. And then next turn, we're just going to slam the satchel and hope it's going to be great. We're going to be able to flip Case of the Felch Falcon, just all kinds of action. Oh, they're ramping, though. Okay. Okay. So they're going to have some powerful things to do as well. So we need to be mindful of that. Let's beat down. But hey, we have... A nice 4-4 flyer that can attack next turn. Killer Among Us. All right. We still have a 4-4 flyer here. I mean, they're going to be able to get us with a Death Toucher, I guess. We do have out cold. If, if they don't have the removal spell for the clue, that's good. And if they do have the removal spell for the clue, then that's okay as well because we can crack it and make a thopter and then we can cast ill-timed explosion if they're really trying to put the pressure on us, right? So not, not terrible either way. We have a plan for both. Okay, so they're choosing to get really aggressive. Okay. I mean, I have an automaton in play. You don't want to just, like, keep one of your creatures back? All right, that's... Okay. I mean, they do get to attack us for six, to be fair. But let's see what they do. Hopefully this out cold does some good work. I'm not even going to try to guess what they have. They're playing all the different colors. I just assume it's going to be... Heavy hitter after heavy hitter. Face down card. Okay, they, they're keeping up three mana. It could be murder, I guess. I mean, I feel like this is just an attack with everything. Okay, I guess it's a Nervous Gardener, maybe? Oh! Okay. Did not expect that. Did not expect that. That was very good. Wow, they, they, they binned a Culvert Ambusher. How good is your deck? If at six mana, you're binning four fives. I just can't imagine binning a Colbert Ambusher in this spot. You know what I mean? Let's tap those two. They can't attack with the ground creature, so might as well attack. And I am very scared. That's all I'm going to say. I'm extremely scared. What do you have? Repeat offender. Okay. That is not scary at all. All right. Now, they can't have an instant speed removal spell for the clue. 
uh, which is maybe something that they found. Yeah, so we don't get the value here. I feel like I need to do this anyways, though. They're tapped out, though. So now we can try to find something f with the ill-timed explosion. But might not necessarily need to use it yet because I can just use unauthorized exit on the 4-4 and just bide my time. I'm wondering if it's better, if that's my play, is it better to just, I think it's better to just draw a card here because um, I might find another play here that I'd like to cast or that I'd like to do. All right. So we have three flyers in play, unauthorized exit and uh, reasonable doubt here. Um, if I wanted to cast ill-timed explosion, I'd like to do it for four if possible. Oh, remember, I can use unauthorized exit on the satchel as well. All right, we're just going to force them to spend all their mana here. Ah. Do we counter this just so that they don't gain life and then we uh they don't get a clue here as well? Hmm. Yeah, sure. I guess I know I could bounce a satchel, but I think I'll be able to find other ways to get clues. And they're at five life, so. And next turn, I can ki I can attack and then cast this, and and I guess reevaluate. But we are so close to just killing them. Uh oh! Analyze the pollen. Okay. Hopefully, it's something big that they cast now because. Um, given that I milled... Oh, geez. Okay. All right. So now, now we're kind of at the point where we have to go for the ill-timed explosion and try to hit a four mana card. Um, yeah. Like, I don't think I want to cast Reasonable Doubt here anymore. Oh, I can do that. So if they play the repeat offender... I can play Reasonable Doubt and then target the V2Gazi Inspector, but they go up to 7 this turn. So I don't even know if that's worth it. Right? Like, I feel like I just need to go with the Ill-Timed Explosion anyways. Interesting. They actually did not play Repeat Offender, and then they have two lands here. Hmm. God, this can end up being very bad. We'll see what we find. Okay, so we found a 4. I could have attacked first, but because I didn't guarantee, I didn't definitely have the four. I just didn't want to take the chance. Alternatively, I can choose not to discard at all and play surveillance monitor. And we're at ten; they're at seven. Hmm. Because I also have a pyrotechnic performer that can put them down to four. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. This gives me a Thopter. If I attack with everything, I put them down to five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is not a lethal attack from them. So if I attack with everything, they go to five, they kill a Thopter, right? Pyrotechnic Performer ensures that they go down to two. I'll have three flyers left. Um, and what I can do is play Pyrotechnic Performer face down on the stack, reasonable doubt, suspect the V2 Gazi Inspector. So that one can't block. So then only Fairy Snoop can block one of my 1-1s. One so then they'll take two, go to three. I flip over the Pyromancer and that's lethal. All right, let's try it. It's We're going for a winning play here. Um, but it's possible it doesn't work out for us. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They killed that? All right. Well, they don't have a lethal attack here. Like if they killed my Thopter, we would have been in a lot more trouble. So we got to full control this. We're going to taking all of this. All right. This, this is a sweet play. If it works. Oh, no. No. Oh, my gosh. 
Do I want to sack these two? Oh my gosh. Rakdos, really? That was your last card? Oh. I guess we sack these so they don't draw cards. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's too bad. That was so, we were so close. We were so darn close. We went for the winning line. Man. Oh my gosh, we were one short. Oh, that feels so bad. All right, good games. Good games. We were one short. Man. Ugh, feels bad. Yeah. All right. Well, six and two, sadly. Let's hope we can still get this trophy at least. Well, I like how it's like frozen here. Like, you have super lost. All right, going for the trophy. I believe we're six and two, although my arena kind of bugged out there. All right, this is a nice little controlling hand. Deduce reasonable doubt, ill-timed explosion, three islands in case of the Shattered Pact. We can go fetch the mountain if we need. Whoa. Um, probably just running out the automaton here. Swamp? Do I want Swamp? I don't think so. I ha the thing is, I have two Swamps in my deck. And I have, two, I have effectively two lands in my hand. And I'm just going to pass and not case cast a case here and just leave up Deduce and Reasonable Doubt. All right. Uh, yes, that resolves. Let's counter this. And okay, we drew the mountain, so we can cast the case and go get our swamp now. Use our mana while we can. And a little bit tricky, like our opponent doesn't know that we're playing red. Do they have reasonable doubt here? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it's, that's annoying. All right, playing the control game, I see. All right, one more clue. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. They're they're keeping up reasonable doubt here. I'm just gonna just gonna pass. I mean, I'm almost tempted to not use this ability either, but I mean, that's like that's probably a little too conservative. What? Okay. I'm going to crack some clues here. I'm going to cast a still-timed explosion and get both these creatures off the battlefield. So let's crack some clues. That's a satchel, but let's go clear the board first. Let's discard Island Surveillance Monitor. That's a Mistway Spy, okay. And then let's go ahead and animate this and attack. I mean, they can have a removal spell here, but then that kind of clears the way for the satchel. This is kind of the one turn where they have to kill it. All right, they didn't have it, which is great. 
And now it's kind of smooth sailing. All right, Satchel can't get reasonable doubted. And then we can even play the Gravestone Strider. And then we'll pass. What do you have? I'm very curious. I just, I don't know what they can have here. Maybe another reasonable doubt? Unauthorized exit they'd ca they would have cast already. Okay, dramatic accusation. Want to keep hitting my land drops and let's attack again. No out cold. Uh, what is, eliminate the impossible, I guess? Shock. Okay. So if they had removal, they should have killed us when I, when I tapped out. You know what I mean? If they had removal when I tapped out, that's when they should have done it. Do I play this? I mean, they had to use Shock and Galvanize. I feel like if they had a Sweeper, they would have used it. And if this is just kind of lethal, I guess. Well, this plays into the counter that I think that they have, so I'll just keep it back. And my board's already pretty dominating here. And I have a Dramatic Accusation, and if they play another big creature, I can freeze it as well. So... Okay. Let's flip this up. Boom. You're at five. Let's uh, cast Crime Stopper Sprite. Uh, what is it? Six? Okay. Let's do that. Yep. All right. And that is another trophy. And that keeps us at rank number four. So we moved up a rank. It's going to be slow. The top three players are all probably incredible gamers that draft all the time. And every single rung that we go up, it's going to take three, four, maybe even five wins to catch up. But I am just really happy that we were able to draft something very different than what you would normally consider to be the way you draft this format, right? Most of the decks that you've seen from me are tempo-oriented, aggro, red-white Cheons, if you will. And this was a very, very different deck. I mean, even when we started out, we were looking to be proactive. We had two copies of Person of Interest, Red Herring, Fuss Bother. I mean, we wanted to beat down, but then the pack shifted. The pack shifted where we got an ill-timed explosion. We picked up multiple copies of the Satchel. Then we got a bunch of deduces and reasonable doubts. And I was like, hey, wait a second here. I think this deck might be better if we look to go really long, because we have all the tools here. And the most important tool here, of course, is a card like the All-Timed Explosion, right? That lets you, even if you get behind on board, this is the card that catches you up, and then you take over the game with cards like the Satchel, and then Coerce to Kill is also a fantastic come-from-behind mechanic. So I, I really, really like this deck. I think there were a lot of different ways you could have built this deck, but ultimately, this deck ended up playing out really smoothly, Mostly because if you look at the two mana slot, still five things to do turn two, two reasonable doubts. So that's seven things you can do to interact with what your opponents are doing. Lots of card draw. We are never going to be the person that's le lower on cards in this matchup, right? Triple deduce, triple satchel with double case of the Filch Falcon, which was basically for it, it was basically a Kranko's Buzz Crusher that I could that I can tap two mana to um, to draw a card with. That I can do at instant speed. That's basically what this was in this deck with three copies of the satchel. So awesome, awesome run. 7 and 1 with the trophy. And we are now rank number four. Number four. We are climbing. We are climbing. Great, great run. Maybe in the next video we can hit rank number three, rank number two. We'll see how things go. If you've enjoyed this content and you've wanted to support this channel, I just wanted to let you know that I did launch my Patreon channel. Shout out to all the current patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. The link 
is in the description below if you wanted to check that out. But otherwise, thank you so much for being a part of this draft, for watching and staying here till the end. I really do appreciate it. Feel free to hit the like or subscribe button for more videos just like this. I'll catch you tomorrow.